Well, how's it going, everybody? My name is Armando. Welcome back to a very well four or five, hopefully six minute video max. <laughs> so, guys, first things first, I want to apologize for not uploading the Easter event. I'm still working on that video. It's just life happens hitting me pretty hard. I keep making that excuse, but it's true. Uh, you know, but I will try to bring it out by Sunday. That's my goal. And then Monday is another m me Monday. So, yeah, it's just a lot of things going on right now. But this is like a really quick filler to kind of, you know, cover the update that Ammon has put on today. And let me tell you something. It is pretty nice. It's nice. All right. So let's just read it real quick. It's called update mini daily TPK competition. Since activity in the arena is pretty low aside from Mondays, <laughs> uh, we've decided to add a mini daily TPK competition. It works just like the weekly competition, except that the winner each day receives 100 credits. The first competition starts right now. So this is pretty. Oh, man. This is sexy. I'm not gonna lie. It's really, really, really good, guys. All right. I mean, every day you can have a chance to win 100 Curtis, whoever is on top. But this is where I kind of, you know, put my butt on it. All right. Now, I'm gonna be the one to kind of, you know, break the silence because everybody, you know, loves Death Frontier. I love Death Frontier. Been with it for God knows how long at this point. I grew up with it. <laughs> I'm 23 now, so yeah. When it comes to Death Frontier, I'm both. I kind of like bringing in both the cons and pros. But let's be honest, guys. The reason why TPK and regular TS both have died, TS is more a little bit more competitive because it's kind of easier to kind of beat the person. But in TPK, the reason why it died off so much to the point where it's like barely anybody runs for it is because of the implants, the ultra boost and the overpower weapons. All right, let's, those three things, let's be honest, are the reason why both TPK and TS just died the minute those three things came out before those things came out it was very active hell noobs with like freaking what is it glacial warfares will go in there and just try to do their best to get you the top 10 whatever just for the heck of it because everybody was on equal terms yes you can say oh but you know uh armando the gal 19 back then was op yeah but not everybody had them they were so rare they would cost a billion in death frontier cash to obtain and the only people that had this were the you know top clans which were you know as as uh, void uh shadow which i was part of it was an awesome moment so when i for example ran for tpk which again that'll be a story for another day i had both the gau uh the speed boost bo uh, drug boost but overall there was no implants or nothing that gives your weapon a 30 percent increase there was none of that all right but if i were to say one thing the main killer was really the implants all right drugs are, are they're doable you can buy you know speed boost damage boost for 10 7 credits whatever it is right now and you'll be on equal terms with the person in the arena now you need implants that are worth over four or 200 million and honestly not everybody wants to spend that type of money on implants so yes they make a humongous difference in both inner city and tpk and ts and all that stuff but come on nobody wants to spend that much money and grind that much just for those implants when another new implant is going to be even more if not more powerful than the one before is going to take over it in the next year or so so you can see why these things died and my biggest pet peeve with this daily thing is whoever is winning tpk right now it's gonna win that daily 100 credits unless like i said i'm just going off you know my observation this is an observation of you i have not myself participated in it i'm just giving my two uh cents but whoever is the main dog because you know champion you know he's gone now uh whoever is the main dog right now you know dominating that arena it's gonna be winning those daily 100 credits unless these guys admin and clayton both put like a limit like okay you want it today you're not getting it tomorrow you want this guy wanted today you're not getting it the next day all right and it refreshes every week so it gives more or less people a chance to win if they did that that would be awesome i'm not gonna lie but honestly what i want to see and i'm pretty sure what everybody wants to see and ha is have two separate arenas which is one implants drug boost whatever is allowed the other one no drugs no implants everybody is on fair games yes the wraith cannon is still op but at that point hell if you know how to move if you know how to aim if you know how to swift so, you know switch swoosh everything you will be okay in the arena but uh overall it's still a great update nonetheless 100 credits you know it's it's 2.9 million in the market also what would be cool is that you know it will kind of help out lower or diminish the value of the credits at the moment yes credits will never go down in terms of like you know weapons where they depreciate so fast they're worth crap but if it can bring the credits down from 2.9 mil 2.9 mil to kind of like around 2 mil 1.9 mil because somebody's winning 100 credits every day let's hope that'll do something but as of now yeah i mean overall the update is pretty much uh, okay but like i said the biggest update in my opinion that will be absolutely amazing will be you know just have two separate arenas you know one without boost or implants and the other with boost and implants and i can assure you the one that will get packed the most 
is the first one I th said, which is the one with the implants, drugs, nothing. Just, you know, weapons, skills, the way you move, your aim. Let's go, all right? As for TS, TS is pretty much whoever can stay up the longest, you know, drink the most Red Bulls and not die of a heart attack. That's going to win it. <laughs> Let's be honest. That's why people still do more TS than TBK. TBK is a whole different story. But uh, yeah, that's all I got for you, sexy MFs. Uh, I'm still working on the video for the Easter. I, I wanted to do one where I spent 22 million on eggs, but I pretty much got the parts in like two minutes. So I'm like, damn it. But I'm going to try out the egg beater, whatever. The, it's such a weird name. The X beater? No, I don't think that's what it's called, right? The egg beater. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I love you guys. Uh, thank you for all the support. Like always, this is Armani signing out, and I'll see you guys around. Take it easy. Bye.